What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com, and welcome back to another one of our Saratoga previews. And for this one, we're going to do the main event of the weekend at Saratoga. It's the Jim Dandy Stakes. Going to be run Saturday, uh, J- July 29th. Race 10 on the card here. Field of five. We've got a grade two race. This is the main prep for the for the Traverse Stakes, obviously, at the end of August. We're going a mile and eighth here, $500,000. Like I said, a short field of five. That always makes for a little bit of an interesting situation, doesn't it? I mean, uh, the, the pace situation is always a little bit sketchy, uh, is maybe the right word, in these four and five horse fields that unfortunately we're having to get used to here at Saratoga and, of course, at Santa Anita uh, as well. So how does it play out? Well, the number four Saudi crown looks to be loose on the lead, and I think that is dangerous, but he's also moving up in class. He's also stretching out. And distance. So for that reason, I did put number two Forte on top in this spot. I think he'll be able to stay within range of Saudi Crown. I think he's going to do kind of what Fort Bragg did to Saudi Crown last time out. You remember Saudi Crown making his first race, uh, first uh, making his first start in a stakes race, was second by a nose to Fort Bragg going uh, one mile in the Dwyer. I think that could be a similar fate today. I think Forte with that long stretch and a mile and an eighth. Even though Saudi Crown does have that pace advantage, I think if Forte fires his race, you'll be able to grind him down late and win. So that's why I put number two Forte on top in this one. But, you know, I, I've talked Saudi Crown a lot. I'll have him in second, number four Saudi Crown, just because I believe he is the speed of this race by a wide margin. I just don't see a lot of other speed in here. I almost could go as, as far to say you might just need to use the two and the four and move on. Um, you know, I think the four alone speed, the two, the one that – I think has shown he's capable of going out and getting horses that are out in front of him uh, consistently. So uh, number two, Forte on top for me, number four, Saudi Crown in second. I put the number five, Angel of Empire in third, and it almost feels like a little disrespectful to put him third in a five horse field. But, uh, you, you know, I, I think out of all the horses, he's probably up against it the most from a pace standpoint. I still like Angel of Empire. I still believe in him. He may be my Travers pick by the time things are said and done. That's a long way off August or end of August. We'll see. But I just don't know that he's going to be able to close into this pace. It seems like it's going to be pretty slow. Now, if for whatever reason, you know, he, he's more horribly placed than normal or, or whatever, then maybe he can make a, a move and win. I do think he's going to run well. I'm not going to be shocked at all if he wins. I just think from a pace standpoint, he's up against it the most. The number one disarm is probably another one that's up against it from a pace standpoint. He needs a little bit more to run at. Even though last time out, he only sat a couple of links off. So maybe he can do that again. Usually he is a little bit further behind than that. Um, he's coming into the race really well. He won the mat win by a half length. You know, Verifying was second in that race. I wish Verifying, I know Verifying came back and won the Indiana Derby. I wish he would have looked a little bit better in that race. Give you a little more confidence in disarm. But uh, end of the day, I, I've got him in fourth. Again, it's kind of weird to put him fourth in a five horse race, but it's five horses, but it's the right five. It's a pretty solid, or at least a pretty interesting field to kind of take a look at. So to recap it, I like number two, Forte in first. I like number four, Saudi Crown second, number five, Angel of Empire third, and number one, Disarm in fourth. Hopefully all four of those horses and Hit Show for that matter, go to the Travers Stakes off of this race. Uh, you know, we're, we're hoping for a big full field for the Travers. I think we're going to get it. We usually do. Hopefully we see all these five horses because while maybe today's or, or Saturday's conditions don't really set up for a few of them, the Travers will be a whole different ball game. So, uh, you know, hopefully nobody gets too discouraged if they don't run well here and they run back. So, all right, guys, thanks everybody for watching uh, this video and preview of the Jim Dandy Stakes. Hit that like button if you like it. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Want to get alerted anytime we do videos like this. And most importantly, good luck if you're playing Saratoga on Saturday. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. Summer's here. Our picks are heating up. We want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel right now. Click the notification bell. You don't want to miss a single one of our awesome videos. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.